everyone welcome back to my channel it is Adelaide here and I'm back with another video as you can already tell from the title today I'm going to be giving you guys a bunch of information about my YouTube videos what my favorite fonts are how I edit my videos you guys have had a bunch of questions so that's what we're going to be getting into today if you do enjoy my content don't forget to subscribe give the video a thumbs up and also follow me on my other social media platforms but without further ado, let's just get right into the video. All right, so the first thing that we are going to get into is the equipment that I use to film. There are a few things that I regularly use in each video. So the first thing is my camera. I alternate. I have a Samsung Galaxy S10. This is the camera that I pretty much regularly use to film all of my videos. If not, I'm using my camera, which is this one here. This is the Canon PowerShot SX70HS. It's a long name. To be honest, do your research before buying a camera for YouTube videos, okay? This is not the best camera that I've ever used, and I'll recommend something else for filming videos, but this is just what I use now. Honestly, smartphones have great camera quality. Then I have a tripod that I have from Amazon. I will put it on the screen. Everything will also be in the description box as well. Then I have my mic. This is a lapel mic. Can you guys even see it? Wait, it's on my, <laughs> it's on my shirt there. To be honest, I don't even use my mic in all my videos either, but if you are looking for a lapel mic, this is an affordable one from Amazon. It'll be in the description box. Then the lights that I use, it's a pack of three soft box, light, soft box lights. The brand is called Mount Dog. They are also from Amazon. Right now I'm only using one light just because this setup is so like, it's so condensed and so small that I really don't need all three lights. And to be honest, I don't remember the last time that I used all three lights in a video either. So I'd recommend just getting a set of two or even getting a panel light. Amazon has really nice lighting. So I'll put some recommendations in the description box as well. Now we are going to get into my thumbnails, my favorite aesthetic fonts, where I get my cute little aesthetic edit inserts for my videos. I feel like those are the main questions that you guys have had. So let's get into it. Canva, 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 Canva is the main thing that I, pretty much the only thing that I use to get my fonts, my cute little inserts. Literally everything is from Canva. I do have the paid version of Canva, and if you can, I will, re if you can, <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Anyways, if you can, I will recommend getting the paid version because it has so many, it has so many features that the free version, okay, wait, let me re-explain that. The free version has a lot of great features, but the paid one has certain features that like just elevates it a little bit more. So maybe start out with the free one, then you know get the paid one eventually but canva is literally where i get everything so let's go over first how i make my thumbnails then i'll show you guys my favorite fonts that i like to use for my videos this is what i do for my thumbnails i go to the search bar and i search up youtube thumbnail i like to just create a blank thumbnail but if you find that maybe you're not the best at designing things or putting things together there is literally thousands of templates that you just select a template that you want replace the photo with your own photo replace the text with your like so many like let me show you guys you guys can see that right like it's just gonna keep going it's not gonna stop there's so many youtube thumbnail like templates that canva has it's crazy so just if you don't want to create a blank one you could use one of those but i create a blank one so I search YouTube thumbnail, 
Then I click create a blank one. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna create like one of my roasts, my roast, guys. Whew, I'm gonna create one of my most recent thumbnails, okay? We're gonna go to elements and we're gonna go to grid, like I said before, and we're gonna select the one that has three rectangles. Now we're going to click on spacing at the bottom and we're going to decrease the spacing. So when you increase it, it has a larger space between each photo. When you decrease it, there is no space. So I don't want there to be any gaps between the photos. Let me move over so I can put my screen recording here. Now all you're going to do is tap on the square that you want to put a photo in and you're going to hit replace. It's going to bring up your photo gallery. I'm going to go to my uploads and this is where I have a bunch of photos that I've already uploaded to Canva in the past. So let's do my little TikTok video thumbnail. So here I have some screenshots from a video, all of these here. So I'm just going to select the one that I want to use. Let's choose this one. Then I'm going to click on the middle rectangle, hit replace again, and let's put this photo. We're going to do the exact same thing for the last photo and there we have three photos side by side for my thumbnail don't really like the way this looks to be honest but this is just to quickly show you guys what i do now i'm going to add text i just click add a heading and i'm going to type it in so i think this was like what was it film a mini vlog with me or something yeah let's just say film a mini vlog with me then we're going to tap on the text and we're going to hit font at the bottom this is where my favorite fonts, I'm going to show you guys like in the next little bit of this video. I like to use Shrikehand, whatever the name of this, y'all can see it, I don't know what it's called, but that's what I use. Then I'm going to change the color to white, and I like my text to be all lowercase just because that's just my aesthetic, that's what I like. I'm going to increase the font size. You can either increase it by just dragging the little box, or you can go to the bottom and hit font size and change it from there. So sometimes I'll have like my main text and then text at the bottom. That's how I make my thumbnails. Very simple, very easy. So I have this whole folder with all my thumbnails and anytime I'm making a video, I'll literally just come here. I think this was my last video. I'll just go duplic duplicate. It'll make the same thumbnail over again. And then I'll just come in, replace the photos with the photos that I want and then replace the text, play around with it boom very easy i can do an in-depth video on how i edit my youtube videos because if i were to get into that this video would be so long but if you guys want to see like the process from beginning to end of how i edit my youtube videos let me know and i can honestly just record myself editing i really don't mind whatever you guys want to see is what you're going to see on my channel so let me know I feel like I'm going to end today's video here because I don't want it to be too long. But as always, let me know any questions that you guys have in the comment section and I will get to them as I usually do. Any video requests that you guys have, continue to leave them in the comment section as well and I will get to those as well. If there's any other information that you guys want to see, any other videos that you guys want to see, if you guys want a part two, if you want to see how I edit my videos, let me know. Hopefully this video was concise. I feel like... I had a lot of energy and I'm talking kind of fast so we'll see when I edit this whether it's going to be informative or not and hopefully it is I feel like I just have a lot of energy today and I feel like when I'm trying to explain stuff and I have too much energy it doesn't really come across right so hopefully this was good for you guys hopefully it helps you guys out and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> If you are not subscribed already and you are watching right now and you are not subscribed, baby girl, I don't know what you think you're doing. You better hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. Follow me on my other social media platforms because I'm posting very consistently on my other platforms as well. And thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. Also, guys, quickly wanted to give a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel recently. We are literally so close to 3K 30. Child, one day we will be close to 30K. But right now, we are so close to 3K subscribers. And I'm so excited. And I can't wait because your girl has been working hard, okay?
<laughs> I've been working hard, okay? It's not easy to be filming and editing all the time, so it's nice to see hard work paying off. But I appreciate you guys so much for subscribing to my channel, interacting with my content, like messaging me on Instagram. I appreciate all of the love. And I'm so glad that my videos have actually been helping you guys out. It genuinely makes me so happy because that is my goal is to help you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. And yeah, I think eventually once I hit a certain subscriber count, I want to do like a cute little giveaway based off of like my channel content, which is all about like creating content advice and stuff. So I could do like a cute giveaway with like a tripod and maybe like cute props for like filming and stuff. That would be really, really cute. Let me know what you guys think about that. But anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.